Hello, crafty friends. It's Sue, your not so crafty crafter, and I am here today with something new I'm trying. It's called Satmore Makes. Um, shoot, I can't remember who sponsors it. Hold on one second, and I'll check for you real quick. Um, basically, what you do is you showcase your Saturday morning projects that you do. Um, and let me, let me just do, Satmore and Makes is sponsored by Jill Norwood Designs, okay? I found it because I watch Kimbo Creations. Um, <clears throat> love her video, she does a lot of great hauls. And she started, she's been doing these vi little short videos on Saturday mornings of the things that she's created or Saturday afternoon of the things that she's created on Saturday morning. And I thought, what a great idea. So I reached out and I'm going to try it. Basically, all you have to do is share your creations that you make on Saturday morning, Friday night, whatever. I'm doing mine on Saturday morning because that's the best time for me to create. And then when you upload your video or your Instagram, just do hashtag Satmorn makes S A T M O R N M A K E S. It's that simple. So I hope you'll join me. Um, <clears throat> second off, if you're watching this video and there are bars on the side, I apologize. I'm using a new iPhone and I'm still messing around with it. I thought I had the bars removed, but that was for photos. Um, for videos on this new phone, I get no options other than zoom in and zoom out. That's it. Um, I considered doing this on my Samsung that I just upgraded from. Um, so we'll see. If I can't figure this out, that's probably what I'll do. I'll go back to using my Samsung for my videos. Um, but anyway, let's jump in. I'm going to share my Saturday morning make. Um, this is a quick little card I made. I made a prototype or two yesterday, and I thought, oh, that was so easy. I can share that. Um, basically, what I used is a piece of craft cardstock. It's eight and a half by 11. This is from Hobby Lobby. I bought it on clearance a while back. I wouldn't recommend it because it's very flimsy. It's better for a card base or die cutting, um, but I had it out, so I grabbed it. Um, <clears throat> The sentiment is stamped with this from Fun Stamper's Journey. I got this um, a couple years ago. I know it wasn't last year because I didn't make very many cards last year and I just cracked this open. Um, it's great sentiment set for holidays. Um, I got this at Memory Bound. I believe Fun Stamper's Journey has been bought out by someone, Sizzix maybe, or... Um, Spellbinders? I think it's Spellbinders, but I'm not sure. Um, but yes, Spellbinders, right there. There you go. Spellbinders.com. This is quite old. I'm not going to say quite old, but, you know, a couple years. Um, I stamped the sentiment in Stampin' Up! Cherry Cobbler Ink. The die cut is made with this new die from Penny Black called Jumbo Bobble. It's very simple. It's a huge circle die with some ribbons and ornament toppers. This is great. Um, I was watching a bunch of videos last week and I saw this new release from Penny Black and Jill Foster had the great idea of using this one and another one I purchased for your photos. If you make photo cards, cut your photo out with this and make it an ornament. So cool. And you don't even have to put it on a card back it with a sturdier cardstock, maybe put a piece of acetate over it somehow and make it an actual ornament. So very cute. And then this, the die cut itself was cut using this Gifts of Gold paper pack from Paper Studios. This is also quite old. It's a full pack though. I've not used it. Lots of great stuff. If you can find it, grab it. Some of it is gold foiled. The make I made yesterday is a gold foiled card from this paper pack very cute so my saturday morning make turned out to be this the paper die cut um, red glitter card stock also from the die cut i stroke a piece of twine to make the bow 
sequins are from this bad boy, <clears throat> which I picked up a Tuesday morning again a while ago. It had some Christmas trees in it, so I grabbed it. And I thought the red of the sequins matched the cherry cobbler ink so well. So, and then I didn't put anything inside. I don't usually put sentiments inside my cards, but I am thinking I may need to maybe put a piece of like vanilla cardstock inside to write your message. So, really cute and <coughs> really easy. And again, if you don't have this die cut, just use a circle die and attach a piece of ribbon or something to the top really really easy and so that's my saturday morning make for y'all i hope you enjoy it and if you liked it of course click the like button and hit subscribe and i will be trying to do these every week so i hope you all have a great weekend it's <clears throat> i don't know it's it's not it's trying to decide if it's going to be sunny or not. There's some clouds out there, but they're not dark clouds. But it's the sun's not super bright either. So we'll see how the day turns out. I'm going to sit here in my craft room and play a little bit. And I hope you get time to do the same. Take care. Bye.